What is up, guys? My name is Xmo Cares, and you are about to listen to the sexiest life story of them all. Okay, but in all seriousness, this is a story about my hatred for wasps. Um, hatred for wasps, hornets, mud daubers, I don't know what you guys call them. You know, that's what we call them in Oklahoma, and uh, they are evil. But uh, this story, like I said, is about the hatred for wasps. And uh, the reason why I hate wasps so much is because the beginning of my sixth grade year, I actually got stung 16 bajillion thousand bajillion sex tuplet sex billion times on the face. And uh, that's the story I'm about to tell you here in a minute. First, I want to get out of the way and or get out of the topic for a second and say thank you so much captain obvious and thank you so much clockwise dylan and thank you so much carson for tweeting out uh captain obvious tweeted out my channel saying hey come check me out if you want and uh it actually gained me some subscribers i oh man and uh Clockwise Dylan liked my video, which also tweeted out, so it gained me some subscribers. I'm guessing all of them have gained me some subscribers. And, uh, and Carson actually retweeted Captain Obvious's tweet, so, you know, it helps. Everything helps. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. Um, you really helped me out for this first day and winning the bet against Cole. Um, it's gonna help out a lot. I can, he, I talked to him earlier today, and he said I'm probably gonna win. So, uh, we'll see, though. I always expect the unexpected. But, uh, yeah. So, guys, let's get into the story. So, when I was in sixth grade, I had just moved schools. And, uh, it ended up that... I didn't really know many people there. Like, I had been to the church, and some of the kids went there, but I was not really friends with them. And uh, so we went through our day, and I was just kind of quiet, sitting in the back and all that. And uh, it got to lunch, and I sat with some guys, and we had a nice chat, but it wasn't like, yeah, we're friends. But um, so we had a nice chat and talked about, I don't know, boogers and crap, I don't know, a sixth grade, I don't know what I did. So, uh, we talked about all that stuff, and then it ended up, we had recess. I was actually confused about this, because I figured, hey, I'm in sixth grade, I don't need recess, I'm not a little ch child anymore. But, in, you know, in reality, I was, I was a child. I still am a child. But, uh, yeah. So we had recess, and I went outside, I was just walking like, I'm too cool to play. And uh, I didn't really have anybody to play with, to be honest, because I didn't really have many friends at the time. And so I was just walking with my hands in my pockets, and uh, I got hit in the arm by this kid. Like, he uh, pushed my arm pretty much, it felt like. But in reality, he just tagged me and ran away and said, Tag, you're it. I was like, holy crap, some kid wants to play with me. Obviously, he wouldn't have tagged me and shoved my arm to where I'm going to bruise. Well, so me, being the uh, naive little kid I am, he was running me into a death trap. Um, I don't think he purposely meant to do this, but it happened. So he ran after the uh already ran and i sat there for a second thinking i was like really someone wants to play with me ow my eye just twitched uh but really uh <laughs> someone wants to play with me and uh it it took me a while to figure out that he really wanted to play and so he ran under this uh, playground set and it's probably the size of a doorway it's the tall of a doorway and then it has a platform above it and all that and uh, it has a slide that goes down and all that but that doesn't really matter 
So he ran under this platform because you can, and then he went like around all these different stuff, and I'm trying to chase him, or I was about to start chasing him. And so the first time I run, I'm like, okay, I'm going to just follow the same path he was, and he's going to double cross this path, and I'm going to be able to stop and tag him. But so as I decide to run under this playground set, I, being the, you know, unaware person I am, run straight into a hornet's nest, literally hit the nest, swarming me, and I feel this huge heavy thing on my face. And literally telling you guys this story is giving me cold chills all around my body, and I got goosebumps now. But, uh, yeah, it was very traumatic for me. Uh, I hate wasps, and that will show you just how much I hate wasps. But, uh, so I feel this heavy thing on my face, and it ends up that there is hornets on my face. I try to shake them off, and they are stinging the poop out of my face and it is not feeling good literally could have died I was in so much pain no it really just felt like my face was bulging out one side because of the poison and uh, it didn't feel too great because I had cold chills all down my back like I do now <laughs> and uh, yeah that is pretty much the recess part of that story um, yeah, after that, I ran over to the person who was watching us. It was like, I got hornets on my face, bitch, and I need help because I'm in so much pain. And so she rushed me to the nurse, and the nurse was called my mom, and my mom called the hospital and was like, hey, my son has multiple bee stings, and, uh, what should I do? They were like, bring him in now. So they bring me in, and it ends up I had 16 uh, hornet stings all around my face, eye area. And uh, they literally looked at me straight in the eye and said, don't go to sleep. I don't know why I shouldn't go to sleep. I have a feeling it's like a concussion. If you go to sleep, you won't wake up. But they said, don't go to sleep. Um... And just uh, put some ice on it and try to keep the swelling down and you should be fine. And I said, thanks, Doc. You really helped me out. I didn't know to put ice on my face. But uh, that is pretty much how that story went. This video is wrapping up. I have a... I don't know what I have at the moment. But uh, I'm using Commando that I picked up because I ran out of ammo in my AK. There's my dogs, and the game ends. I went 18-5 and five with a 3.60 ratio, and uh, that is decent. I don't know. It's pretty decent for me, and uh, I felt good about it. So I thought I'd play it because it was exciting for me to play, and I thought it might be exciting for you to watch. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Xmo Cares. And I just want to say thank you again to Captain Obvious and all them. Their links will be in the description. Peace out.